Okay guys, let's get real for a second. I know normally YouTube videos are very glamorous and happy and cheerful, but let me tell you, <laughs> this last couple days, not so much. I have had a really bad cold, but I still have to go to work. I know I still have to present myself nicely, even though I don't want to present myself. I just want to climb into bed. So I decided that I would film this video just to show you guys how I transform myself, mostly my face. Um, you know, my skin's feeling really dull. I'm just feeling not good. Um, so this is just going to be the look I go to on sick days where I have a lot to do. So please enjoy this video. So I'm going to be starting off with the Farsali Gold Elixir. It does have like gold chunks in it like you can see. And I just think it really like moisturizes my skin and gives me a little bit of a glow. And like I said just a second ago, my skin is just not good when I'm sick. It's very dull and I just want to wake it up. My eyes are very puffy as well. So I like to go in with the Milk Makeup Cooling Water right underneath my eyes and on top of my eyelids just to really refresh in them and bring some coolness to help with the puffiness. Then, since I feel like I have a hangover, <laughs> but I promise I'm just sick, I'm going in with the Hangover X Primer by Too Faced just to prime my skin and give a little bit extra moisture. And then I'm gonna do my eyebrows off camera, of course, using the Precisely My Brow Pencil by Benefit, and it's the number six color. And then I'm going in with this MAC Concealer and MAC Concealer Brush, it's the number 242, just to define my brows and clean up any areas. Honestly, today I was like not feeling it, so I didn't do anything special with my brows, as you can see, but that's okay. For foundation, I'm going in with the Josie Marin Vibrancy Foundation in the shade Jubilant, and I'm going to use an Artis Oval 8 brush to smooth this around my skin and give me some full coverage. I don't grab this foundation very often because it is a dewy finish, but it brings a lot of life to my skin, and on sick days like today, we need it. That's also why I use the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in the color Custard when I'm not feeling so well. I still put it everywhere that I put my normal concealers, but it does not give me a very matte finish and it does bring a little bit more oil to my skin, but today we need it because we are faking it until we make it. And I'm just blending that all out with a Real Techniques blending sponge and it is damp. And like I said, I put that in all the same areas and we're just gonna tap it out. I also like to do this because a damp beauty blender just kind of refreshes my skin and I just feel like it's helping in so many ways. And then I'm going in with the Soleil Tan de Chanel Cream Bronzer and I'm using a Real Techniques Expert Face Brush just to blend this all out. Same thing as the last two things I said, it's just a cream product so it's not going to kind of dull my skin even more than it already is from being sick. It's going to just keep bringing that life back into me. Pretty much every single product I'm using, that is the goal, to bring life back to my face. And I'm just putting these in all the normal areas, you know, cheekbones, on my hairline, on the side of my nose, and along my jawline. Then to set that concealer, I'm going in with my Laura Mercier Secret Brightening Powder and I am using a Sigma stippling brush just to pat that everywhere. This is going to brighten up that under eye so if my eyes do look tired, this is going to help kind of do the opposite and really brighten and wake me up. Then moving on to the eyes, I am going in with Makeup Geek Peach Smoothie using a Sigma E40 brush and I am just focusing that in the crease, doing windshield wiper motions back and forth and then going in that inner quarter and doing big circular motions up and out towards my brows and the outer area of my face. And I'm just going to keep doing that until it's blended like I want. Next I'm going in with one of my secret products that is my absolute favorite. This is Passionate by MAC. And I'm going in with a Morphe blending brush. I absolutely am obsessed with this product for so many reasons. My reason in this video is that it is such a bright, lively color. It's just going to brighten up my eyes and my face and kind of give me that warmth that I really, really want, especially when I put all these brown shades over it. It's just going to look absolutely beautiful. So I'm going in with MAC Saddle with that same Morphe brush and I'm just doing the same thing that I did with the first two colors in that crease and then just blending it out so there's no harsh lines. For the lid, I'm taking Makeup Geek Meringue with a packing brush by Boomi and I'm just putting this all over the lid. Honestly, when it comes to sick days, I don't want too much attention on my makeup. I really just want to look full of life and not tired. And when I put this all over the lid, a light color like this that isn't flat matte, but it isn't shimmery either, it opens me up, especially since I do have hooded eyes, but it doesn't 
like bring extra attention to that area so that's why I choose to do this on days like today and then I'm just going back in with Mac Saddle to blend all that out and then taking Mac Saddle again on an E15 brush underneath the eyes I am just giving a not so harsh line you know I'm not going all the way into the corner because I don't want it too intense but I am defining it a little bit because like I said my eyes were pretty puffy and I needed to disguise that by defining the eyes just a little bit and then on a Sigma E30 pencil brush, I'm taking MAC Passionate to blend that out. Again, this brings a lot of life to my eyes by having that bright pink, and I just love it so much. Then the last thing for my eyeshadow, I'm just taking MAC Shroom on that same Boomy brush, and I'm just hitting it right under those brows on the brow bone and in the inner corner. It's not nylon like I normally go for, but I feel like that's good because like I said, I don't want to bring too much attention to anything today. And then I'm going in with my Anastasia of Beverly Hills Clear Brow Gel just to make sure that those brows stay in place and aren't moving on me all day long because we do not need that. Then I'm just popping a MAC Chromographic Pencil in my lower waterline. This is going to conceal all the redness that my runny eyes are showing and it's just going to hide even more that I'm sick which is great. Then I'm starting off with their Real Mascara by Benefit. I love this mascara to really coat my lashes and separate them. And then to make them fuller, I'm going to top it off with Better Than Sex Mascara by Too Faced. This combination, you guys know, it's like a ride or die. I love it, so I couldn't not use it on days like today. For bronzer, I'm going in with my MAC Studio Sculpt Defining Powder in the color Dark and I'm using a MAC 135 brush just to bronze, not contour. And this is great because it's not a flat matte powder so it isn't going to get chalky on my skin if like my dryness does come through, which hopefully it will not. And I'm just popping that in all the normal areas on my cheeks, my hairline, and then a little bit on my neck and jawline just to bronze me up because you know. We don't need to be looking too pale today. And then for blush, I'm using the Tarte Amazonian Clay Blush in Dollface, and I'm using an It Cosmetics blush brush. I like using more pinky bright blushes when I'm sick because, you know, everybody says rosy cheeks make you look healthy. <laughs> Those are in all the movies, so I'm trying to go for that same look. Then for highlight, I'm using this Physician's Formula Shimmer Strip in the color Vegas Strip and I'm using a Morphe M501 brush. This is gold and I like it because gold shimmers on me, I just feel healthy when I wear them as opposed to like a champagne or more of a white color. I just think it looks like natural health. For my lips, I'm going in with the NARS Orgasm Lip Gloss. I love this color. It's really shimmery, really glossy, and I just love lip glossy lips <laughs> as opposed to matte lips. And I'm just trying to feel good, and this makes me feel good. And in case my skin wasn't dewy or lively enough, I'm taking this Pharmacy Skin Dew, just topping everything off, letting it all really sink in, and plus it just feels great and it has a very fresh scent. And then I'm taking my Real Techniques Blending Sponge and just tapping all of that out in case there's any harsh lines, it kind of just sinks it all together. And then when you're sick, I just like to make everything look better, so I decided to give my hair a nice little curl because when you look better and you feel like you look good you're gonna feel better from within too or at least make people think that you feel great so that is it for this video you guys I hope you enjoyed it I hope the next time you're sick you feel a little bit better if you try this routine and please watch out for my next video and subscribe I love you guys bye